then at one point, who was your first hire? Or I guess uh, outside of the, the the graphic designer, who was someone you needed to bring on board right away? So let's see, I launched the company in, we opened the store, the online storefront in May of 2016. And my first hire was in January of 2018. So okay. for that period, I was doing it all by myself. The July prior to that first hire, finally, to my husband's great relief, moved headquarters out of our apartment into <laughs> this little windowless warehouse in unincorporated West Carson in Southern LA. And so I was working out of this warehouse. And then my first hire was a production assistant to help me fill and label and get things out and just kind of be the man hours required to manufacture products. Um, and I'm very happy to say I have a 0% turnover rate. Everyone I've ever hired still works for me. So she is now a production wow. coordinator, still working on the back end, but um, has been with me since, since then. What do you think the secret is to that? I mean, that's, an, that's um, incredible. Thank you. you. Just, yeah, maybe you're just that likable. I don't, I don't know. I don't know you that well, but. I'm going to say that's the secret. Um, I have no idea. I, I think, you know, I, I really, I really do think that your employees make or break the company, but you know, the ability to grow relies on being able to trust the people you work with and empower them to take on parts of the business. Because if I were still doing it all myself and just kind of treating them as extensions of my own time and energy, I would not be able to get nearly as much done as I do. So I think really trusting my gut in the hiring process, but then also really, I try to let people be as autonomous as possible, try to really be, you know, I'm here, my door's always open, I'm here for questions, but like, I hired you for a reason. And so I trust you to do the job that I hired you to do. Plus, I mean, we offer great benefits, you know, free healthcare, plenty of vacation time, unlimited sick, like, you know, just trying to really take care of our employees so that we get as much back as we give in. So. Do you have any hiring uh, tips that you use? I have a few that I use that I found to be successful, but I'd love to hear if you have any, any things that you dig deeper on or maybe tips you've picked up along the way. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I have a ton of tips because since, <laughs> since I have not had to rehire anyone, I've actually only gone through <laughs> the hiring process a few times. Um, That's a good answer. Yeah. So I think, I mean, I really do have learned to trust my gut when I am meeting with someone and not kind of let the idea of a resume or whatever specific accomplishments override the feeling that I get of would they be a good fit for this job. And then there are also sort of the mm. anti-oppression ideas that I really try to take in because I think that prejudice really gets its claws in at the hiring level in a really insidious way. So things like I don't have education requirements, you know, unless it's like, if I were to hire a lawyer, it would be required that they had gone right. to law school. But outside of that, you know, I don't let criminal background play a role. You know, we don't have internships. So we're hiring from the broadest pool possible, you know, just really trying to make sure that there are no unnecessary obstacles standing in the way so that we can get the widest pool possible. So that's another thing that I think is really important. That's really smart. It's, it's crazy that that sounds progressive, but uh, I'm right. the same way. It's like, it totally makes sense. It's like, you don't, you don't really need to go to college for certain things, you know? Exactly. There's, uh, and at the end of the day, everything's human. And so as long as you're a good human, generally speaking, you'll learn some of the tools or the tricks along the way. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.